Hi guys, it's Babies, and today I will be recording a tutorial using um, my new drugstore products that I just put up a video about. And I'm right now putting, ooh, that was too much, um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is the color 125. And I've had this one for a while, but um, it's sort of been too dark for my skin. But now that I'm a little bit tanner, I might be able to wear it. So, we shall see. I'm using just a Real Techniques, a clean, well, semi-clean one. And I'm just buffing it in. And with this one, I don't do two layers. I only do one. And the reason for that is this is a really full coverage foundation, so, well, it could be. If you build it up, it can be a really nice coverage, flawless coverage foundation. So if that's what you're looking for, I definitely would check it out. A lot of people like this foundation. Um, my favorite is still the Chanel by Lumer Aqua, and then after that, Gemma Kid probably. The Light is Air Foundation. But this one is definitely nice for a different occasion. For if you're going out and you want it to be a little bit more flawless, um, this one will be a really nice one. So, you can see it doesn't really have a dewy finish, really. It's sort of fairly matte. Um, I'm just going to go right into the eyes, I think. And then anything after that, I will come back to. I'm just doing a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in. The original, and then I have to decide on a palette, which I have yet to do. Mm, I'm in between Silent Treatment and Knock on Wood. You know what? Let's go for the Knock on Wood, and then I will do the other one probably later on this week. Oh, I can't get them open. They are really difficult to open. I have to be patient with them. So I have all of my brushes in a bag. So a lot of them need to be cleaned. Oh, here we go. There's all the brushes. I am going to be using a Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to take the brow bone color. And I will be putting it on my eyelid. So you don't have to listen to what they say at all. There's a lot of fallout. So top, tap away there. You're, otherwise, you're going to have a whole bunch of eyeshadow on your face, which is why I'm saving concealer until afterwards, because this is the first time I've used it. Um, if you want to avoid fallout, sort of pat instead of sweeping. So patting will definitely take away a lot of that. So you can see it's a really nice muted pink. <clears throat> and then I'm going in with that maroon color. With, this is a Sonia Kashuk um, brush, if I didn't say. Getting fall everywhere. And I'm going from the middle of my eye, so right where my, um, my, where is it, what's it called? Pupil is from out from there. So. So you guys can sort of see. It's not the whole way out. It's really dark in here right now for some reason, which I don't know why. Okay. Now I'm just going to do that quickly on the other eye. I think I'm going to mostly just show you guys one eye, so I'm not wasting time, but I will show you them both after they are done. Okay. So there are the two. Don't worry, I'm going to blend them so they won't look. <laughs> Crazy in just a second. I'm just using a Sigma E35 blending brush. And I'm not really doing too intensive a job because I still have to do the crease color. So don't worry about that. Um so far I really do like it though. I'm gonna take a little bit of that crease color now. Mm, using what will I be using? A Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. This is a really dense brush, so it'll pick up a lot of the color. 
and I am going to look straight ahead and put that in my crease. So I'm going to try and look at you guys while I do this. And just repeat on the other eye. And the real blending will come afterwards with a clean blending brush. And I'm trying to get my eye a really sort of sculpted look, so I'm sort of really getting into that crease area. Just by poking it into that bone. Obviously not poking my eye out. So you can see it's really dark right now. Okay. These are colors are really pretty and really pigmented though. Um, but a little bit of fallout, which is okay. And I'm sort of blending it out to give my eye a really rounded effect. You don't have to do that if you don't want. I like that sometimes, not always. And to get the same effect on the other, I'm just going to grab a little bit more of the crease color and dragging that. A little bit more out. Okay. So you can see it's sort of like a winged rounded shape. Well, this one's a little bit, I guess, round. This would be the general shape. I got that on my nose there, so you can see. They're really, really pigmented though. I'm going to use Brulee as a highlight. Ugh, worst packaging though, honestly. Okay, and I'm going to take an Eco Tools brush. Really pretty though. Do the other eye. And then I'm just going to blend that really quickly. I'm going to blend the highlight and the crease just really gently. Moving on, I'm just going to do. Um, doing some creamy, not creamy, corrector from Bobbi Brown. Oh man, I left my curlers somewhere. Oh no, I found them. Okay. Using Real Techniques domed crease brush or something like that. Oh, deluxe crease brush is what it's called, sorry. Um, it's because my Chi 4 is dirty and this does the exact same thing. And it was just taking on a faded spot that I had. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to quickly curl my lashes with Shu Uemura lash colors. And before I move on, I'm use a little blush. This is Lady Blush Cream Blend. Blush by MAC. I'm just using my fingers. And I do like to bring that up as a contour. This is just a really natural, sort of flushed blush. Really pretty though. Um, taking a little bit of the Chanel loose powder, it just looks like that. Um, I'm taking a crown. This is a C309 Jumbo Chisel Powder brush. I'm just grabbing very little product, just like that. Tapping that off into the brush, the case. Lightly dusting that on. It smells nice. <laughs> Sorry for sniffing, um, but it did smell really good. Anyways, okay, and then 
Where is my... I'm always losing stuff on camera. Well, I don't know, but I'll just use Full and Soft by Maybelline Mascara. I don't know where my other mascaras are. Oh, but I like this one. This is, uh, I think, in the color black. I use it in brown ones, which is really nice. So that's nice. I mean, they have my bottom lashes too. If you want to see the brush, that's what it looks like. It's nice and fat. Um, and besides that, I could do a little bit of a little lip color. I'm just going to do Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Protector in the color 02. So, I think that is about it. Um, it was just a quick tutorial to show you how the one of the eyeshadow quads could look. So you get a really nice sort of purple, smoky eye. Well, it's not really... It's more of like a really dark eye color, which is really, really nice and really, really pretty. Um, I would wear this during the day. Um, it's probably picking up a little bit darker now on the camera, but that's just what it looks like. You can play it up. I think it looks good on a lot of eye colors. I think this would look good on blue eyes, brown eyes, hazel eyes, whatever. Probably green eyes, too, it'll look really good on. But, yeah. That was just featuring, which one was that featuring? Knock on Wood, which was really, really pretty, really pigmented, um, and I used Brulee too. Um, so, comment below which one you want to see next. I have um, a few more. The Cool as a Cucumber, oh, that's not it. Silent Treatment, Walking on Eggshells, and Cool as a Cucumber. You can see the swatches on the drugstore haul. Um, and let me know which one you want to see next. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!